National Park Nighthawk Baseball is on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk athletics this season. Our feature baseball player of the week, Mr. Cam Tyson. Cam, welcome back to National Park College. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Cameron Tyson. I'm from Cullen, Louisiana. It's like very, very close to the border of Arkansas. Cameron to play baseball and just further my baseball career and help us help National Park get their first regional championship this year. And it's been a great season so far for you and the Nighthawks. What was it that initially brought you to National Park College last year? I actually played National Park at my uh, it was one of my old schools, Arkansas Baptist, but our season got cut short because of an administration problem. So uh, the assistant coach last year, Coach Muldoon, I knew him for some time. He just asked me if I wanted to come here and play. And it just like, seemed like a good fit, so I just came here to further my career. I remember seeing you around the ballpark last season. You didn't necessarily have a lot of playing time last year, but you're, you were always, any time that I was out there with the camera, you were always trying to get in front of the camera, get your face out there, get your name out there. And, and I think I understand why coming into this season, you have evolved and grown into a phenomenal hitter for this program, a great defenseman for this program. You play multiple positions out in the field, and you're one of the, the leading offensive uh, hitters for this team in, in multiple ways. And when you compare last season to the opportunities that you've gotten this season, what do you think are your biggest reasons for growth this year? I just had more more ABs and more, more opportunities. Last year, I got a got had a couple starts here and there. I got some starts in like the I got start starting like the middle of conference, like every two or three games. I had like a good I had like a breakout game last year against Carl Albert that kind of like got me in the lineup and like helped me start in both regional games this year. But other than that, I just get more opportunities. Just yeah, all the work is just paying off. You know, anytime we see Nighthawk baseball anywhere, maybe it's at a basketball game or helping out with community service downtown or or visiting with uh, the police department or the fire department here in Hot Springs. We always joke that you guys are like an army of baseball players just roaming around Garland County. But the truth is that this is a, a pretty big family atmosphere. Uh, we see you guys cutting up, having a lot of fun. Um, you guys spend so much time together and for some of you that are far from home you spend more time together as a family than you do with your actual families what is it like to be a member of this baseball team it's just a big family yeah we spend so much time together so i just we have no choice but to um, become close with each other so i just like it it's, i feel like i love the guys my team message is always there for me no matter what we do homework together we always get to hit together study go eat we're just always together so i just feel like we build a bond it just helps us on and off the field to become better and get closer with people you're talking about improvement, talking about getting better. You know, one thing we've really noticed about you specifically in your time here at National Park College is you're a vocal leader. You like to lead by example. We see you picking people up whenever things aren't going right. And we see you as their biggest supporter and biggest celebrator when things are going great. And what is it that has really propelled you into this type of leadership role that you have for your team this season? Just maturing and being around the game so much and I guess I got to talk because my coaches always tell me I don't shut up. So I feel like I can't be quiet when the game time comes. I always got to find a way to help my teammates and pick them up because baseball is like a short, it's like a big mental game. You can't get too hard on yourself because like you can, you can make an error in the first inning, but in the ninth inning, you might have to win the game for your team. You can't be worried about what you did in the first inning or the second inning. You got to know how to move past those failures and just know how to fight back. Of course, we've seen you step up in multiple ways at the plate, in the field this season, anything you can do to help your team win. And as we look at the season, we've come a long way since game number one. And in the heart of NJCAA Region 2 play, it really feels like this conference is wide open for the taking. And I know that there have been some ups and downs for the team this season, but we have uh, really a, a favorable look at the schedule ahead. Tonkawa comes to town this weekend, a four-game stint against the Mavericks. What are some of the things that you and this team are working toward in order to, to finish strong and enter the postseason on a hot note? I was just working on finally like clicking and putting it all together. Uh, the first part of the conference, we have like a hard conference schedule. We played Murray, 
Murray, Weston, and South Dark, they're all like top three in the conference right now. I just feel like we're just gonna put it all together. We played against South Dark, who's leading the uh, who's leading the conference right now, and wins. We're the only team to beat them so far. I just feel like when we when we click at the right, I just want to click at the right time because like, even like in baseball, it's not it's like when you get hot. Like Ole Miss won the College World Series last year, and they weren't even supposed to get into the the tournament. So I just, as long as we click at the right time, I feel like we got we got some of the most the best talent in in this call, whole conference. So as long as we click at the right time, we'll be just fine. Let's talk about goals. What are some of the things that you hope to achieve this season? And what are the things that Coach Rich Thompson uh, are, is, is, is preaching for this team as we look ahead to the final month of the season? Uh, the biggest goal is just to win. You know, go, go to Enid, win our region, then go back to Enid and try to win the national championship for this team. And one of my personal goals is trying to be like first team all region just, and just do as best as I Because if I do my part, I just feel like we'll, we'll go as far as, as far as we can go. Cam, we've enjoyed the energy the leadership we think the best is yet to come for nighthawk baseball this season congratulations on the honor this week is there anybody that you'd like to say hello to who may be watching i just want to shout out to my hometown cullen louisiana thank all my former coaches and everything i just want to thank my family my mother my aunt my brother my both my sisters and shout out to my dog hennessy Cam Tyson of Nighthawk Baseball. You can follow the team online, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. For Cam Tyson, I'm Mark Oliver. This is Nighthawk Baseball on the Nighthawk Network.